Hi, honey bunnies. Welcome back. It's me, Jenny. How is everyone doing today? So I want to talk to you guys today about um, junk journaling. I was actually working on one of my journals, which is my uh, vintage, vintage journal that I have here that I've been working on. And um, I was doing some pages in here, and I thought that maybe I can do a video giving you guys some ideas and some tips on what I do and what I use for my junk journaling um, and just try to make your life much easier. People get so stressed out when they do junk journaling and to be honest with you, the whole point about doing junk journaling is to do whatever you want, however you want, whenever you want and there's no really right way of doing it or wrong way of doing it. It's just how you want to do your project and um, it shouldn't be something that people tend to stress out a little bit about. So I wanted to just show you guys a few things that I use to kind of help myself um, with my journals, my junk journals. And um, I also, I'm gonna show you samples of what I've been doing in my vintage junk journal that's kind of associated with what I'm going to show you. I'm not gonna show you exactly a whole, you know, run through of my uh, vintage journal because number one, it's not finished, and number two, um, it would just be a too much of a long video. So, as I show you things, if I can remember that I have samples of them, then I'll show you and I'll reference back to my uh, vintage junk journal. Okay, so the very first thing that I do, um, first of all, if you are a person who loves to do a lot of junk journaling, the first thing that I'm going to definitely tell you is keep yourself very organized in as far as keeping little items. I would definitely do a little station in your craft room or in your living room. Get yourself one of those Rascard cards or even the ones from Michaels and just designate an area for your junk journaling because as you all know when you do junk journaling you do you need a lot of things and you save a lot of things right because basically nothing is garbage when you do junk journaling you can you are able to turn the littlest you know piece of of material or fabric or paper and you can incorporate it in your junk journaling. So at the end of the day, you can really accumulate a lot of stuff and you can really, really, really be overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that you accumulate. So the best way for yourself to keep yourself a little bit organized is definitely make yourself a little station for only your junk journal. I have a little station and it's been working for me absolutely awesome. I also have myself, um, uh, a guideline on what I can keep. For example, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna move you over. Right here in this little corner that you see here, this is my vintage uh, suitcase that I hold all my junk journaling stuff in. I need this. I need something to give me an idea of what I have, because if I don't have something like this and I keep my junk journaling stuff somewhere else, I'm just gonna keep accumulating stuff, accumulating stuff, and then it's just gonna be way too much. So I know that if I have this little section here that is all my junk journaling, um, little gadgets and stuff and, and tags and just things that I am holding on to for like, you know, from things that I get or even like friends of mine that give me stuff, I try to put them all in here. If I can't fit anything else in here, then I know it's time for me to start looking at what I have in here, start getting rid of stuff to make more room for new stuff. So that's something that's helping me and it has been working very well for me. If you guys want me to do a video to show you how I organize my junk journal, let me know and I'll do that for you. Um, and I will show you how I organize all my little things here. I also have a another little organizational um, thing that I do for the papers. So I will, I'll do that for you if you guys want me to show you, okay? So let's talk about what can we use on a junk journal. You can use anything you want. There is no limit 
in the world that you can't say to yourself, oh, I can't use that. No, you can use whatever you want on your junk journal. I personally love to use illustration. I am a fan. I love using illustrations. I also love using magazine paper. I love using um, specially um, vintage uh, images. I love using all that stuff. So what I do is when I'm ready to give, get rid of a magazine, which I do this monthly now, because I accumulate a lot of magazines, so at the end of the month, I try to go through my things, try to get rid of, recycle, so I don't accumulate too much stuff. I go through the magazines, and I just pull out things that catches my eye, okay? So, for example, I'm gonna show you here what I've been pulling from magazines. So I like this little image right here, right? I told you I like illustrations. This is one of those images that I see and I absolutely love. I love to take this and I like to save it because I will eventually use this in my junk journal, okay? Something like that, I would definitely save. I absolutely adore this picture. Um, I got this from a vintage magazine that my mom, um, had gave me and I went through it. I ripped every single, basically every single page because I loved everything on in that book or in that magazine. But this is one of my favorite, favorite images that I just adore. And I absolutely love it so much that I used it as part of my first page in my vintage journal, as you can see here. This is not finished yet. I have to still finish the cover. I have to still do things more in here, but I loved that picture so much that I made it into my vintage um, journal first page. I love it. It's beautiful. As you can see there, it is just so, so gorgeous. And what I did with the edges, which is another tip, if you're doing something vintage and you don't feel like that vintage look is really there, take your... Get yourself a sponge, get yourself uh, some ink, okay, some, some ink, and just distress the edges. You will be amazed on how vintage your, um, your layout will look just by doing that, okay? So that's what I did here, okay? And I backed it onto a paper that I had. Oh no, actually, I actually, no, I'm sorry. I backed it onto a calendar from Target that I bought um, last year. If you guys love Target, you most likely will probably remember seeing a calendar like this in Target. Well, I cut out the part, this part, which I will probably be used, and I kept this beautiful flower, and I just backed my beautiful image onto it. I love this page. It makes me smile when I open it and I see this. It's just one of those things that I absolutely love. So, again, just get images that catches your eye, right? I just go with my instincts. Um, if I see something like this, that ca this caught my eye instantly. I, I absolutely saved it, okay? Things that catches your eye, save them. Um, eventually, trust me, you will probably use it. I love saving illustrations like this. This kind of illustration I absolutely love. I think it's fun and it's so awesome to put into your junk journaling. Something like this I also love. I don't know if you guys can see, but you see that? How beautiful that little illustration is. I love that, okay? And I love saving all these little things because I know that I'm going to use them. Another illustration here that I absolutely, ooh, that I absolutely love from a magazine. So when I'm ready to do some kind of layout or some kind of junk journaling, I would just cut this out and I will paste it or glue it down to my page or my work. Very simple, but so easy. Another one that I absolutely adore, an illustration. This one my mom actually found for me. I thought it was so cute. I love it. And I just it's just one of those things that you have to really go with your instincts, okay? 
I found this one. Oh, my fan is on, so everything is like flying away. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to keep everything. I found this illustration and I absolutely love it. You see that woman, how gorgeous she is? I just, I, just things that really catches your eye. That's what I really think that, you know, you should concentrate on. And whatever catches your eye, get yourself a little folder and put it in a little folder. Once you get yourself a good amount of uh, samples of things that you like, then you can kind of categorize them as you want to, okay? So that's a great way to start um, with your junk journaling. Um, another thing that I love to do, something like this, for example, I love this movie. I think we all do. I'm looking for the notebook too, because I want to do another uh, journal involving this era. But anyway, I love this, and I thought to myself, well, if I ever want to do a, a either a you know a junk journal or something, I would have this image. I can use it. So things like this can really, really have a really good value to what you're doing, and it can really help you get yourself motivated, right? Another illustration that I absolutely love, I mean, it's just it's so many things. Um, this here is a sticker sheet that I got from a magazine, and I absolutely love it. It has so many great little quotes or words, like adorable, sweet, fresh pick, yes, lady, this one says here, ladylike, um, florals, love it. Just these cute little quotes that I can definitely use in my layouts. This is a Target advertisement that I thought it was so adorable. I mean, it's for Christmas because they have like Christmas lights and Christmas balls. But I thought it was so cute and I love this illustration. So I definitely saved it. I can maybe do like a, a Christmas layout with that. Something like this caught my eye. Beautiful uh, floral um patterns it's a pillow but it's beautiful you can even use the mother's day um little words here i mean you can do literally so much with so little guys another one that i absolutely love this this horse image i just love it i thought it was beautiful okay so i think we get it right i think we get it with um when it comes to papers for um when it comes to papers or uh, magazine papers. Um, books, I love, love, love doing um, illustrations and I love, I'm not doing, I love to find books that have illustrations in it. One of my favorite things ever to do is that, and I'm gonna show you here a, 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 um, a page that I worked on that has illustration and I just loved it. Um, here this one I cut out to this little adorable cute little mouse and I just glue him down to my page I love it so when it comes to like little illustrations like this I go crazy over and I just love 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 to hold on to them I'm gonna show you here a few that I have just an example so that you can get an idea um okay illustrations and where is my here here he is okay so these are like little illustrations from books that i love to save as well something like this i love saving because i just i love like the playfulness of it and i think that it would look so pretty in like a layout so i definitely love saving stuff like this um, look at this boy, how cute. Maybe you're doing like, I don't know, a junk journaling page. You can probably cut out this little boy and glue him down. Um, I love this one. This is so cute. Actually, this is part of the page that I showed you. This is, um, let's see, which is, where's the page? See, that is also him right here. So I would probably eventually cut him out and I would definitely glue him down. Maybe I'll probably do it like, for example, I might just cut him out and just glue him onto this page right here, which is really pretty. And that would be a really nice, 
presentation for my um, junk journaling. So illustrations are always really, really a good thing to um, keep and save because they can really bring your work um, to another level, I think. I also love to buy vintage books and like children's books at the thrift shop. They're very inexpensive. They're like 15, sometimes 20, sometimes a quarter, sometimes 15 cents. I mean, they're very inexpensive. And you can really, really get a lot of nice images. So when you're thrift shopping, make sure you stop by the children's section and look through the books and see what kind of catches your eye because you would definitely find awesome things there, okay? This is a book that I bought uh, while I was thrift shopping. I told you guys that I'm planning to do a junk journal in reference to Peter Rabbit, and um, I'm working on that, and I, I might be actually doing a video for you guys in a few days on a few of my layouts. So, again, uh, you know, illustrations, children's books, those are awesome to buy, awesome to have. Don't forget, if you're using um, soft cover books, the covers are also perfect to use. This is a cover of a book that I kind of torn apart. I love this image. I love this here. I can always cut this out, put it down in my junk journaling, and it will be perfect. You can actually use this as maybe um, part of your page. I mean, there's so many things you can absolutely use. This is another cover for another map paper, another uh, book that I have. So these are just things that um, we kind of tend to overlook, but in reality, we can definitely use them. This is another cover of a book, but look how pretty this cover is, right? I can definitely use this as maybe a layout, a page, a pocket page, um, you know, anything really. So that's a really good thing to keep your mind, uh, um, you know, uh, keep yourself um, to remember when you go thrift shopping. That's one of those things that you should always keep in mind, you know, is what I'm trying to say. Keep it in mind. Okay, and then I found these um, sample uh, that I, I thought they were like kind of interesting. I, I don't know. I like them. And I could use them for something, so I thought this would be perfect to use in my junk journal. So I, I ripped them from a magazine, and I, I'm holding on to them. They're really, really, really thick, and I think they will be awesome to put in one of my pages. Um, another thing that is awesome to use for your junk journaling, which we tend to kind of like overlook, are greeting cards. I love using greeting cards, especially greeting cards that I don't want to throw out. Um, what do you do with them, you know? Besides putting them in a box to collect dust, you know, why don't you just junk journal them? Put them in a nice little envelope, um, perhaps like a nice envelope that comes with it. Uh, maybe do like a, uh, a pocket, like here, for example. I'll show you one of my cards that I use. Somebody had gifted me this card, and I used it because I loved it so much that I used it, see? It's so cute. It's like a little um, cupcake. It's for my birthday. Somebody gave this to me for my birthday. So what I did was I washi taped this to the end and I made it into kind of like a little flip little thing. So I, I, I love using greeting cards for junk journaling, especially if the greeting cards come from someone you love or someone you care for because at least you get to see the card. You know, in a box, you don't really see them unless you come across them. But in your journal, you can flip through and you will see them and you bring you really nice memories. So don't forget to use your greeting cards if you don't care to kind of like work around them and tear them apart and, you know, try to make them look pretty in your junk journal. Um, another thing, uh, these little like I love these cards. I, I just love them. This is from an advertisement, but look how beautiful this image is. You can definitely use this in one of your junk journals. You can either use this image, or you can use this image of this beautiful lady with a, with a beautiful background. I love finding stuff like this in magazines, and I love to hold on to them because, again, the perfect, perfect, perfect for your junk journals. Okay. Um, obviously, I don't think I have to go in depth with this because it's kind of obvious, but 
you know, uh, dictionary magazines, uh, dictionary papers are awesome. Um, book papers are also fabulous to use. Um, something like this, I just basically cut it out and I'm going to put this in one of my layouts. I mean, just use your imagination. There's so many, there's so many things that you can do um, to, to save money and make your junk journal look really nice. I mean, it's not supposed to look absolutely beautiful. It's a junk journal. That's why it's called junk journal. But if it makes you happy, you know, and you, you kind of like, like to work with junk journaling, then just use things around your house. Don't, don't go crazy finding things, you know, or buying things. Just recycle. Um, another greeting card that I received. I love this greeting card. I think it's so cute. Wouldn't this is, this will be perfect to use as a, um, maybe like a little pocket or something. I love it. Okay. So, um, these are more little books that I love to use. I love to use these little vintage books. I buy them all the time when I go thrift shopping. The images in here are awesome to use for junk journaling. They're so cute actually. And I love them. <coughs> oh my God, excuse me. Okay, another thing you can use, this is from Tim Hall's, uh, one of those um, <coughs> packagings. I love using packagings. I use them here in one of my layouts. Let me show you if I find it. Let me show you. Where is it? I gotta find it because here. See, I use, um, this is actually from Recollection. I don't know if you guys remember. It's a little package from Recollection. And I used it as part of my junk journaling. So don't throw these out. You can definitely use, like this one right here, I will use just the way it is. I'm not even gonna do anything with it because I love this image. I think it's beautiful. So I would probably use this in one of my, my spreads. I love it. So don't throw these packages away. They're awesome to use. I thought they were like, I, to me, I love using these because they're very, very durable and they're awesome. They're awesome to use. Um, let's see what else I have here. Here's more of the packaging that I'm talking about. This is from Target, okay? And I also did a spread in my junk journaling using that. Let's see if I find it. If I find it. I think it's here, hold on. Mm. Where is it? No, it's not here. It's not here. It's not here. Not there. Okay, I can't find it right now, but, oh, here. See this one? I did the same thing here. I used the packaging from Target. Remember this one that comes with the little vintage clips? I kept it. This one comes with the vintage tags. So what I did was, I kept a little package, I washi taped it here, and I'm using these really cute, adorable uh, button holders or button tags in here and I just love the way this looks I think it looks so pretty and it just turned out to look so vintagey I love it I love it see that and then I flipped it over and then I did the same thing on the back I just I love this one I think this page this page turned out to be so pretty I absolutely love it I love using this map here I just I thought it was really pretty so again don't throw away your packages. These are really awesome to use. Trust me when I tell you, you will make a lot of use out of it if you save it, okay? Um, you can also use your own stamp image. Here, I did this little stamp image of this cute bumblebee, and I found this extra paper in my craft room. So what I was thinking of doing with this is making myself a little pocket using this cute adorable little um vintage little uh bean 
And all I do is I'm just going to make a little simple pocket. I'm not going to do, you know, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to just staple one, two, and three on one side. I'm going to staple the same. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little thing over here as a tuck-in pocket. So let's see what we can use. Maybe we can use one of these tickets just to show you. And it's going to look super cute. See that? So you just take, tuck it in there. I don't like that the butterfly doesn't, I mean the bumblebee doesn't show. But I can always stick it here with like a paper clip. So at least this can show. Okay? Or if you want to be brave, you can tuck it in back here also. That's not a bad idea as well. And then what I would do here is I would definitely put some washi tape. Let's see here. If I find the washi tape that I kind of like. I am so obsessed with this Tim Holtz washi tape. Oh my gosh. I love it. See? And that will become part of my that will become part of one of my vintage uh, junk journaling page. Which one? I don't know. I have to figure it out. Maybe I can actually perhaps do it here and make this as a little pocket, okay? Maybe you guys wanna see me do that now? Let's do that now. So how I will do that is I will use some washi tape, okay? And I would just basically Put the washi tape in the on one side just like that then i will flip this over and i'll put more washi tape on this side so this way it gives you like a swivel kind of effect i can journal something here if i want see that and then there you go and now you have yourself a cute little flip that's cute, right? In no time, in seconds, I did that. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. Just use your imagination and use things that, um, I don't know, things that you normally would never use, right? Like, things that you think that you would never use, that's what you're going to use. That's what you're going to use. Exactly what you think you would never use is what you're going to use, okay? I also like to save a lot of my... Um, my lip them little packages um i do a lot of the uh, tea dyes and so i have a lot of these packages a good way to use these packages is how i did here on one of my pages which i'm not finished with this page yet but i did i just kind of like added a little bit of um distress on it i stapled two together and then i used a little um the little tea um taggies that i never throw out i use them part of this here and i just love how this hangs out here and it looks really cute i also love to use these little tea tags as kind of like my page flip right so here i added this one here and i just kind of use this as like a page flip i love that it's just it looks really pretty and i don't know i love this whole idea of this hanging down I just I love it so I kept it there I, I also use another one and another one of these layouts see I used the Lipton one here and then I attached it to this tag right here and then I used it also here so I can just kind of like flip back like that I love these little taggies. I love using them. I don't. I, I, I try to find use for things, you know, because I just have them sitting there doing nothing. So I try to use. Um, I try to find use for things. Okay, I think. Um, I think that's basically. I mean, I can go on and on and on about what you can use for, you know, um, your junk journaling. But I don't think you want this video to be like five hours long. So um, I just kind of wanted to give you like a brief idea of what you guys can use and not to feel intimidated if you are a first time 
you know, a junk journal person. Just have fun, guys. Have fun. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have fun, then the purpose for you doing your journal, you're succeeded, okay? It's, 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 it's the reason for you do this is to have fun, enjoy yourself doing it, just enjoy yourself making crafts, enjoy yourself making layouts, and just have fun, okay? So if you guys um, want me to continue on giving you more ideas on what you can use for your junk journaling here, here's another one. This is a Band-Aid box. I thought these images were awesome. So I just cut out the Band-Aid box and then I saved it. Um, okay, so if you guys want me to give you more ideas on what you can use for your junk journaling let me know at the bottom of this video i think that more or less we kind of have an idea of what i'm trying to explain to you guys but if you need more ideas or if you want me to give you more of of what i keep in here let me know and i'll do that for you guys okay all right honeys thank you so much for stopping by i will see you guys on my next video i love you i'm going to be working on my peter rabbit journal i can't wait i'm so excited i have been collecting tons of stuff for that journal i cannot wait to start so yes i can't wait for that so thank you so much for stopping by thank you for your likes thank you for always returning back to my channel i love you all please be safe and i will see you on my next video bye honeys don't forget to like and subscribe Mwah.